Hey guys, this is Drew with the Kusha Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we're sending off a lot of high dollar coins to CAC, a few Morgan dollars and a few gold pieces, and a pretty tough VDB. But uh, yeah, uh, if you guys want to know who this is, this is Zoe. She's our CAC expert to see uh, you know what coins will CAC, what coins won't CAC. Uh, she's petrified at the moment, I don't know why. But uh, let's get this video started. So many people ask, what's the point of CAC? Um, and, and in a lot of ways, you know, it is just a sticker on a coin. But at the end of the day, you know, the CAC sticker adds value to a coin. Uh, it helps with collector value when people think of the, of, uh, of the sticker, but then also think about the coin. But the real important part at the end of the day is, what is it gonna do for your numismatic eye? What is it gonna do for your million dollar eye? And the people that have really excelled in the business are all they're doing all day long is saying, am I right or am I wrong? And let's check. And so we're going to show off a lot of coins today and give our opinion um, before we send them off. And then we're also giving up uh, what we, you know, what we get them back as. And all we're really trying to do is help you guys learn more about uh, CAC and, we're, and a few things about grading as well. And... So, so join along with us, take some notes, write some things down because at the end of the day, we want you to be able to look at these coins, understand them more like we are, and then you guys can start sending coins into CAC yourselves, start submitting coins yourself if you're not already. A lot of things, a lot of opportunities that are out there for stuff like this, and so let's take these to the light box. Let's give you guys an analysis of every coin whether it's A coin, a B coin, or a C coin. If you want to know what that is, check the description down below. It'll help you a lot with CAC. But yeah, let's show you guys some coins. First up, guys, I wanted to show you a coin that didn't cack, but is a pretty nice piece that we have on our website right now. This is 1871 gold dollar. It's graded AU58. Um, this, I think there's only 3,900 minted of this coin, which is pretty nice. The reason why I bought it, because it really has that you know, low mintage, but also look like a nice little proof-like feel to it. When you get in the light, it's just really flashy. Like I said, it has been circulated, but I think the reason why this did, coin didn't cack is because there's some light scratches kind of down here by America, and there's, I feel, too much circulation for it to be a B-quality coin um, for uh, CC. I just think it's a C-quality coin because it's not on that higher end in my opinion, but still a nice coin. Just add this one to the website for you guys to take a look at. Hope you do. The next coin I want to show you guys is this 1907, um, it's 1907 $2.5 gold. Bought this one recently and I've been trying to get a nice set together. Just things that, you know, collectors would really, uh, you know, jump on. And so a few of these that I've been trying to pick up, just nice PQ examples. When you take a look at this one, there's a light little scratch in front of the nose there. Um, there's a little kind of haziness around the rim. That's what you kind of see on most of these. Um, still nice, strong looking luster. Rattler holder is a little dinged up, but that's just the way it is. But when I take a look at the obverse here, I'm sorry, the reverse, you can kind of see some spludge or some, I don't know, really smudge marks or something. Maybe it is PVC, maybe it isn't. The main reason why I'm saying this coin in is because I want to see what uh, J.A. thinks and also, you know, if it'll get a sticker or not. But for right now, I'm going to call this coin a C coin, hoping it's a B, but we're going to have to be honest with ourselves because sometimes you just don't want to develop a wishful thinking when you're submitting coins. If you start to, to develop wishful thinking, then when coins don't come back that when you, the way you want them, then you start to say, oh, well, CAC doesn't know what they're talking about, grading doesn't know what they're talking about, and really, they're the ones that are making the moves. They're the ones that have been in the game the longest, even more than me and, and most people. So sometimes it's just not good to have wishful thinking. Up next is one from the collection 1935D, uh, Buffalo Nickel, created MS64. The reason why I'm saying this one in is because it's a part of the collection, and I just want to see what they think. Very soft strike, as you can see on the face here. A few kind of dings. Uh, just, you know, over here on the cheek is kind of my main concern. But the color is really nice. The eye appeal is really nice. Not too sure what uh, J.A. will think about the color. When I flip it over, 
has some kind of, you know, a little bit of a few marks here on the buffalo. And the strike is kind of weak on the coin as well. So that's my main concern for this piece. Still a nice, beautiful example, but we'll be really excited if it does cack. If it doesn't, that's the way it goes, but I would give that coin uh, a B for me. So I'm on, I'm on the edge of B and C, but we'll see how that one goes. I'm um, pretty excited to send that one in. It's been a, a while since I've sent that one. The next coin I want to send you, show you guys is this 1807 Drape Bust Half. We've shown this off uh, in the Oklahoma video, but it's time to send a few things in, and this one really does fit the mark for me. Nice original skin, a little bit of toning in the fields here. Just gives it that really nice eye appeal. And sometimes, you know, when you have inventory that isn't really moving, you really just have to see what else you can do with it. And the way I saw a lot of my coins in the safe is that there's a few of them that just really need a CAC sticker. And uh, there's no better way to do that than to send it in. I would grade this coin a B just because fields are pretty nice. There is a lot of circulation as you can see on the bust. But, I mean, I think this coin overall is a really nice high tier VF30. And I can't wait to see how this one comes back. I really do think it is a B coin though because I looked at a lot of... Uh, bust halves and none of them look at even remotely close to that one in terms of its eye appeal and its originality. Are you guys enjoying today's video so far? If you are, please leave a like. Uh, let us also know what do you think of each coin down below, what your opinion is, if it's different from mine or if it's the same as mine. All that's important. Got this nice uh, gold uh, a rattler two and a half piece this weekend. And uh, looking forward to sharing uh, this coin with you towards the end of the video, in my opinion of it. But yeah, let's get back to today's video. And the most of the time when you're looking at those, you want them either just right in the middle. You don't want them too light, which means they're really cleany looking, or too dark. And uh, dark coins, they don't like too much on those. Up next is 1822 Browning uh, 1 quarter. The reason why this one's so special is because... You know, it has really nice, you know, kind of really nice original fields here. There's not really any old cleaning on the obverse. Just nice, honest circulation. And the cool thing about this quarter, I think there's like 64,000, a little bit north of that, that were made. And these coins were made for use. And a lot of them just got withered down to the bone. And a lot of them are not going to be able to be found in VF35 condition. And so when you find something like this, uh, you know, if it doesn't sell right away, send it to CAC. And that's kind of what we're doing with it. There might have been some old cleaning on the uh, reverse here, but I think there's still a really nice, decent shot at this coin. I would grade this one a B also, and I'm being very strict and honest, and so I'm not giving any, you know, not giving any kind of uh, leeway for any of these coins, but I do think that one is really nice. Uh, the next coin I want to show you guys is an, a Morgan Dollar. It's the 1880s Morgan Dollar grade MS63 by PCGS. This one has nice true views on it. You should look it up if you want to. The reason why I'm setting this coin in is because it has really nice eye appeal, you know, really nice color on the coin. I call this one the horseshoe just because of, you know, the intricacy of where the toning sits on the obverse here. There is that kind of, you know, really deep looking wear on the, on the face just from rubbing. And there's a lot of kind of chatter in the fields here, but a lot of mark free everywhere else. Uh, a few kind of little divots here, but... Hair is still pretty nice and intact. Color is really beautiful. That really gives it that eye appeal. When you flip over the coin, you don't see too many coins that are double-sided toners that are really beautiful. Don't see too many problems with the uh, the reverse here. Maybe a little rub on the high points, but they did get an MS63 grade. I do think that overall, the amount of hits on the coin um, gets it in that you know MS63 plus territory. You know, it's just a coin flip for me. But right here is the main concern. I would still give this coin a B grade, and I do think it will do very well, but we will see. We have this uh, Texas commemorative half dollar, not really nice original coin. Paid actually under 85 for this coin, which is surprising. Uh, a nice old series holder, and this coin has really just awesome, nice original skin. Honest wear, sorry for the plastic here, but if you just take a look at all the points here, just really nice classic look. There's not too many of these coins out there in holders, I think there's only pop one under VF30 for this coin and so a lot of people were jumping all over it you can still see that honest wear you can check and see where the high points are on a coin just based on if it really circulated just like this one you can see that on the face and also down uh, the arm and on the leg 
And you can also see that in the busts to the right and the left of her. And so I think this one is a B coin. I don't know really the jump between, you know, if it would get a gold or wouldn't get a gold. It's just very confusing to me because there's just not very many examples out there, like I said, to compare to. And I try to look at different grades and also different years for the Texas to see if they had like comparative photos, but nothing. So uh, we're going to see how that one goes. Up next, we have a few Morgan dollars from a collector that wanted us to send some in just to help them out during this time when they're not really accepting many applicants. This is another old holder, 1890S Morgan dollar. A little bit of a tougher day here. We can take a look at the coin. Nice blessed white, uh, you know, nice blessed white beauty. Uh, there's a few kind of, you know, striations in the fields here. There's a little bit, few kind of dings on the face, a few coin rolls as you can see. Um, but nice luster, very strong, no distracting spots. That's very important on the coin. You can kind of see those highlighted kind of hits right here a little bit better. And uh, when you flip over the coin, nice luster all, all the way throughout. A few hits on the eagle's uh, breast feathers. Uh, possibly a little bit of rubbing, but I think this coin overall is a nice solid B coin. Just because of the luster really carries it that way. It's an S mint coin, so that's to be expected. But if anything does go wrong, it's going to be these hits here. It's just that we need a clean cheek for a, a nice 64. And to, to be close to a 64 CAC, you really need to be almost on the verge of a 65. So these kind of touches here are a little bit of a red flag. But uh, like I said, giving my honest opinion, I do think that one might have a shot at B. And this collector really does have a great eye, knows how to shoot, uh, pick, pick coins very well. In my opinion, just likes coins that are, you know, they're going to see a really consistent pattern here. Old holder again, 1882S Morgan Dollar MS66. When you take a look at this coin, nice uh, envelope toning, and there's a lot of luster remaining underneath the toning as well, which is good. That's what you want to see on a Mint State 66 coin. Nice clean cheek here. Don't see too many problems out in the fields. A few kind of dings, I think, right behind her head, but that's something that's really minuscule. Not really a problem at all. And, uh, you know, when you take a look at the cheek here, no really problems. A little bit of a touch right here, but that... You know, it's not going to be a big big issue. Um, the main concern on this coin would be the luster on the reverse. So when you take a look at the reverse here, a lot of haziness from the toning. That's going to happen in envelope toning. One side might look nice, one side might look like this. And so, uh, honestly, I don't know if this will get a, uh, a green cack sticker just because of the, you know, a little bit of a suppressed luster on the reverse. So I would give this coin uh, a C. And I gotta be honest, I mean, that coin's on the edge, but I do think that because of that kind of little bit of haze on the reverse and that suppressed toning really does take away from just, you know, it's above, it's a gem state MS66 coin. Up next, nice old green holder here, 1882 CC Morgan Dollar MS65. Take a look at this one. Cheek is, uh, you know, pretty nice. A few little touches here, as we saw on the last coin. Not too many striations out in the fields here. And, uh, you know, a nice wholesome gem state coin. You take a look at the high points, not much rubbing. Maybe just a little bit right here, as you can see. Take a look at the reverse. Nice blast white example. Not really many problems on the breast feathers. Nothing really a problem in the fields here. Just a very strong coin overall. Another coin that I would give a B to because. I think this coin's beautiful, and I do think the luster really carries it all the way. And just based on the obverse, which we know, um, they take most of the you know most of the points off for, just doesn't have too many problems. Uh, up next is an 1885 Morgan Dollar MS65 by PCGS, and you take a look at this coin. We have a few kind of it's almost mirrors, as you can see uh, the Carson City, but there are some more kind of. Uh, little stippling hits down here from something maybe kind of rub but overall cheeks very strong and you can just take a look here out in the fields it's kind of the same minimal marks in those areas a problem on this coin for me is there's some rubbing or weak strike as you can see in the hair and uh, that's a big issue for me on top of all this on the cheek when you flip it over uh, there is a nice little ding here, but I mean the reverse is pretty good. A little bit of ding by the E here, but I think the coin overall 
is is pretty good, but I would give this one a C based on that rubbing that I see there. Just that flatness to it. I mean, that really just takes it away from me on top of the the kind of big hits that you can see down here on the on the cheek. And you know, it's it's great a gem state coin, but like I said, if it was an MS64, that one would have been a green cack all day long. Up next is an 1884 Morgan dollar, a little bit hard to find toned, and it's graded MS66 by PCGS. Take a look at this one also, it has a nice envelope toning. The problem on this coin, which like I said, we're going to be very strict, no wishful thinking here. We got a lot of missing and suppressed luster here on the face, but there is some on the rim. But like I said, you're losing a lot of luster here, and then when you're moving out on the coin, that's, you know, for me, that's a problem, especially when it's graded MS66. Look at the reverse here. Luster's a little bit nicer on this part, but still suppressed in the center. And uh, I think this coin got the grade because of just the minimal marks. There's not very many marks on this coin. Probably the strongest example in terms of marks. But, like I said, when you take a look at the luster, and it, for me, it just doesn't add up, I would say this coin really is a C coin. Up next is uh, 1888 Morgan Dollar, graded MS65 by PCGS. We're running through the Morgans today. Hopefully, it's helping you guys out like it's helping me. We take a look at this coin. A few little dings here on the face, but strike is, is pretty decent. No really rubbing that I can see. Not too many issues in the fields here also. When you flip over this coin, not many problems in the field here also. Uh, I think this coin may have been dipped before, honestly, and I don't think it'll be too much of an issue. A little bit of haze in the fields here, but I do think this one has a really nice shot at a B coin, just because strikes nice, cheeks nice. It's a 65 instead of a 66. A few little chatter out in the field, but I still think this one really is a nice solid B. We'll see how this one goes when it comes back. If you guys want to stick around, man, and uh, see more coins. When they come back or when they go out, make sure to subscribe. Try to upload nice videos that are informative every single week. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy them. 1886 Morgan Dollar MS64. Nice little kind of toning on the, on the uh, you know, a little crescent toning on the coin. I don't know how this one really toned itself because it doesn't really have that Morgan Dollar that was on top of it to form that crescent. But maybe it was just something that was placed on it over time. Maybe a piece of paper or something like that. Nice toning by, uh, you know, underneath kind of uh, her face. If you're taking a look at the the, ch uh, the cheek, it's kind of marked up, dinged up for sure. This is the MS64 coin. Uh, a lot of chatter on the front of the face here. The luster on the toning is a little bit weak, in my opinion. If it had a really nice, strong luster on this toning, I think it would be, you know, unequivocally a B coin. Um, but let's take a look at the reverse make sure we're you know checking on everything so we got some some rolls here We got some a few coin rolls up there a few kind of light chatter scratches uh, a few kind of distracting spots on the coin um, But overall still an interesting piece you like I said look at all this chatter here it really is uh, might hold the coin back and uh, Like I said the luster and the toning is a little lacking these hits here really are distracting for me and there's a few spots in the reverse. I would call this one a C coin myself. But like I said, let me know down below if you guys think the same way as me or you guys think different. That's what we're here to learn and understand. Up next, a little bit of a tougher date, Morgan Dollar. This is 1897, rated MS65 by PCGS. Got a few, uh, a little bit of chatter here. And there's kind of a big hit on the forehead. Uh, I'm not sure what happened there. A few little dings on the face. And there's a few kind of chatter marks out in the fields. When you take a look at the cheek, you have this really big kind of scratch right behind the nose. It's kind of hard for me to pick up here, but you're going to see in just a second. It's like this really long scratch, and there's a few little bit of, bits of chatter on the nose as well. When you flip over the coin, it's really nice, problem-free, reverse, no really issues. Maybe a little rubbing on the high points, but it's just what's, it's what it's expected for this coin. Um, overall, it's a, it's a nice piece, but I would personally grade this one a C coin. Um, there's there's even some chatter here, maybe a little hit in, in the hair. And uh, don't want to be wishful about that one. 
I just seen many other different MS65s in this stack and other ones that look a little bit nicer. And, uh, you know, I do think that one is a 65, just not uh, a B-worthy 65. Up next is the 1883cc Morgan Delagrate MS65 by PCGS. Take a look at this one. Strong luster on the coin. Uh, they took it easy on the cheek here because a lot of Carson Cities were just banged up on the cheek. They treated their coins like crap. But this one, you know, a little bit of a cleaner cheek and they're going to be a little bit more uh, be a little bit more kind about this one. Uh, the main concern for me is these kind of scratches on the, behind the nose and uh, a few striations in the fields. A little bit of a weaker strike here or some rubbing. Flip over the coin. Nice little luster there. And uh, if you take a look, there's a few more hits here on, on top of the eagle's breast feathers. And so this one is probably the trickiest Morgan dollar of the, of the pack. Um, personally, I would grade this one a C coin myself. But with Carson Cities, you don't really know for sure. And that's kind of, uh, it's going to be an interesting one for sure. Let me know what you guys think of this one down below. But thank you guys for watching this part of the video. Let's hit it to the outro. Did you guys enjoy today's video? If you guys did, if you could, please leave a like. It would really help us out, reach more people. Uh, just give them the experience that we're having right now. If you guys want to subscribe, that'd be awesome as well. Just so you guys stay tuned for every single episode that we have coming out. It would mean a, a lot to us. And comment your thoughts down below. Um, did you, you know, what do you thought of the coins? Um, should I do something different to give you guys a different analysis on the coins? All of your opinions really do matter a lot to us. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.